What's going on? Today I have a video about how to start next wipe rich, or pretty rich, I suppose. But uh, anyway, let's get right into this. So, what you do if you want to start next wipe rich, first, what you're going to do now is you're going to level nine characters to wander, like I have done here. Because, I'll explain, you get a gold coin bag for every character you have at wander. So, if you get nine of your characters to wander, you're going to start next wipe with nine gold coin bags. And that's like basically starting with nine keys. Um, they have kind of flip-flopped on whether or not this is actually going to work. I've heard conflicting information on whether this will actually work. But, you know, maybe just plan in, in advance. Nine coin bags, maybe. Next wipe. Okay, and the second thing that you're going to do if you want to start next wipe rich is you're going to farm centipedes in goblin caves on high roller. So if you're already, if you're not aware, good jewelry, especially good rings, go for a lot. They're very expensive. And these centipedes in high roller goblin caves have a almost 30% chance to drop an epic accessory. So that's going to be a necklace or a ring. So there's 30% chance to get an epic accessory and there's I think there's like eight centipedes on the map. You can easily get four in a match. So you know if you just start next wipe killing centipedes you're gonna start out very rich. This is one of the best ways to make gold in a game outside of just purely farming gold ore which is super boring I might add or just killing really other geared players. That's probably the best way to make money. But yeah if you want to start next, next wipe with some good gear and some good gold gain, then I would just farm these centipedes. Um, I'm just going to show you all the necklaces and rings that I've gotten from farming centipedes, because I have so much. And I've sold a lot of rings and necklaces already, so this isn't even close to all of it. But this is just the stuff I kept. And then after I show you all this jewelry and stuff, I'm going to show some footage of just some matches where I've done some centipede runs. You can kind of see how I fight the centipedes and the routes that I take to get to them. It's actually very easy to kill the centipedes, and you can do it with completely default gear. It's very possible. They have a very predictable attack pattern. Basically what you do is, whenever they're doing their green spit, you'll start to see some green particles from their mouth. And when they do that, what you have to do is just crouch and look down, and it'll completely dodge it. And then the other attack they do is just a basic you know melee attack if you get close to them they'll, they'll arch back and then lunge forward and try and hit you and when they do that you just have to just back up it's really easy to dodge and then the last attack they have is these poison pool things and this, they'll just run away away from you they'll always run away from you so you can kind of path them and like steer them in a way it's been kind of buggy lately though with their pathing but when they have these pools, you have to be careful not to step in them because they do a lot of damage. And the damage also stacks if you step in multiple pools. So if you get five stacks, you're probably just going to die. You can jump over the pools, though, if you get a running crouch jump start. You do have to be kind of careful when fighting the centipedes because they're very loud and they make it hard to hear the things that are going on around you. So that's just one thing to be careful of when you're fighting the centipedes. Make sure you're doing it in a safe spot. But yeah, I'm just going to show you the rest of the jewelry, and then I'll show you some clips from some matches afterwards. Thanks for watching.
fucking man. I like it better. Yeah. Of course, he's camping the door. First match of the day, I have, to, I have to run into like one of the best rogue players in the game, playing barbarian. Someone's been through here. Yep, over here. Trudging through mud with this attack speed. Dude, how much is he gonna spit? I mean, I always forget that fucking warlocks can use wayhanders. That's insane. 
That's stupid to you too. Does that is that does that only sound stupid to me? That warlocks can use way handers. What's up, Bubba Sailor? How's it going, man? I'm glad, you, glad you're in agreement with, with me there. Because I agree, it does not make much sense. Good, how about you? I'm doing okay. I died my first game of the day to a barbarian that objectively should have died. players in the game at solo. Anyone in here? Nope. I blow corruption sway hander? That literally would one shot. So easy. I mean, it, they had already one shots, but it's it's like a double one shot. You go one shot by the Zweihander and one shot by the Blow of Corruption. Get back here, you slippery, slimy mother fricker. Uh, it was demo. It's also a YouTuber. Makes a lot of videos. Bro, whoa, whoa, whoa! Centipede! I love that he just fucking... Every time they... I think they have some AI that just like yeets them into the goo every time. What did I pick up? What was that? That's what I also thought. You could kill you twice. Yeah, I mean, blow up corruption with a staff. I mean, that one taps. Throwing that bitch on his way hander, though? Like... I need cloth pants. This is bad. We can do this. We can go around. Go follow them. Trace their steps back.
Oh, I know where they are. Wait, they went back. Went back out. Guy's dead as soon as cutthroats back up. Let me juice your potter. The best in slot frock. Jesus, those are good. I think I gotta use those. He was greedy. Yeah, he was kind of greedy. Got right above me. Walked in here. She hit this weapons. attack he's dead that's unlucky that's dude the giant spiders are so clutch that's so unlucky it's a plate fighter below that spawned right on top of me. Us one damn, you're a you're an, a real OG man. Uh, I was building straight strength before weak point, 
but 100% dex build feels really feels great. Yeah, I agree. I think dex is it's one of those things. It's like once you start building it and playing with high dex, it's like it's so hard to go back. So not having dex, and it actually is really good because you just get more hits in. They must have buffed these like ornate chests because I feel like they're actually good now. Use a weak point. Oh, they added this goblin spawn back. They removed this goblin and then they added him back. Dude, my damage is so high right now, it's kind of crazy. Coder looking for squishy classes. Oh yeah, dude, that's that's what I do. The squishy classes fold. Someone's been through here. I think someone spawned here and then walked through there, most likely. Get the archer aggro. Fucked up the stealth, but maybe I can still creep on him. There's no way he hears me. Skeletons are too loud. Yeah, Cutthroat is. Were you so? Were you using weak point before then? I take it. I used to use weak point like back in the playtest. It was actually it used to be so insane. It was actually like unfair back then. Big man, I'm rank purple. What's the easiest map to demigod right now? Is solar assume gear is not best. Probably ice caves. Ice caves has like a so there's there's so many queues right now that there's not many people in every lobby, and Ice Caves has a loot as a treasure hoard that's always that's just open and you can loot it without like uh, any aggro really. So probably Ice Caves if you do the loot hoard. You can get you can get demigod overnight literally.
Took me point because I wanted to kill fighters and barbs, but in reality they would just turn around and want to cheat. Yeah. Yeah, I mean that's the conclusion I basically came to is is it's yes you can kill them. It is it does help you kill them. But it's just not worth it half the time. A 50-50 matchup is not in my favor. Yo. Oh wait, that's Phoenix Trigger. Uh, okay, those both suck. Usually Ice Cave Sword is farmed off rip for my games, so maybe off ours will make it free. Yeah. I mean, honestly, you can probably do any map to get Demigod, really. Um, as long as you just, like, don't PvP. I mean, really, really getting Demigod is just not dying. Just avoid PvP. Always run Invis plus X. Yeah. I've always been a Invis enjoyer. Being able to three hit these big spiders is actually so nice. Considering the smoke pot plus rupture. Just just haul ass at sign of danger. Yep. Yeah. I'd say if you like uh, if you're just trying to survive, I think smoke pot hide is probably the best. Unless you're movement capped. If you're movement capped, don't take smoke pot. For some PvP, where is everyone? Someone's been through here. First, first gold set. Terrified to run it. I mean, I guess wipe is seen. Dude, I've actually never run a golden set. Believe it or not. I've always ran pretty mid gear, basically. Someone's been in here. We're going to find them. There in the middle. Prior is getting a mimic cap. Or something like strength. Yeah, movement cap is pretty strong. And those high ranks, yeah, I would get movement cap over strength. I mean, okay, so basically you want strength to. You want your physical power to be at 0% and then build movement speed. What is this person doing? This is probably a rogue. Those are like the sound of lightfoot boots. Or adventure boots or rugged boots. 
They're just chilling though, they're not going anywhere. That's a lot of damage, man. Actually, no, I'm not going to use, I'm not going to use that. I'm going to save that. That was scary. As soon as I knew it was a barb, I was like, I was thinking to myself, like, fuck. <laughs> this could go either way. I'm just lucky I didn't get one shot. I think it was a hilt hit. The nice bandages. Actually, magical healing? Maybe I do want that. One hit for a look at that guy in her again. Yeah, honestly. And that was that was a green bardiche, man. Is this a normal goblin? Dude, this is a normal goblin, but it does the it does the shield rush thing. Oh yeah, let's look at that again. What was that? Green bardiche, and it did probably did like a hundred damage, ninety damage. I'm guessing. Yeah, I think I would have been dead if that was anything but green. Okay, well, I pretty much. Inventory is full, so not really reason to, no reason to keep staying in here. 